Hi guys, Adam here, and welcome back to the video in M's Toyland. Today, I'm going to be showing you this miraculous ladybug, Bark Plush. Bark is the Kwame of adoration, and... <laughs> Bark is actually the Kwame that is connected to the dog Miraculous. Is it just me, or... <laughs> does Bark kind of look like... <laughs> the dog version of Stumpy Cat? <laughs> Okay, yeah. <laughs> Bark looks a lot like Stampy. <laughs> well, his Minecraft skin, that is. <laughs> Bark has green eyes, and her color scheme is orange and white. <laughs> yeah, so basically, Bark is basically the dog version of Stampy Cat. Alright, the superpower of the dog Miraculous is really unique. <laughs> yeah, so basically what you do is... You touch an object with the ball that the... When you transform, there's a dog, like, ball thing that you can touch an object with. And the superpower is fetch. Alright, so fetch basically recalls anything that you have previously touched with the ball. And that power comes in handy when fighting a supervillain. <laughs> yep. Okay, for the holder of the dog Miraculous, in order for them to transform, they have to say, Bark on the hunt. <laughs> and to detransform, <laughs> they need to say, Bark, lie down. Okay, in season two, what Bark does in the episode titled Sandboy, <laughs> Bark with all the other, with most of the other Kwamis, <laughs> trying to contact Nuru for his... 3,500 cycles, which is his birthday, by the way. <laughs> and, yeah. <laughs> the, like, attempt to contact Nuru <laughs> kind of failed because <laughs> Nuru was actually powering Hawk Moth at the moment as, as the Kwamis were trying to contact him. And <laughs> Bark actually said, We need to block, we need to block all communication. And, <laughs> yeah. Yep. Bark actually, yeah. <laughs> Hawkmoth actually <laughs> threatened the Kwamis that, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he will make them his slaves, just like Nuru. Hey, that's kind of foreshadowing for season five. Okay. So, Bark actually briefly appeared in Season 3, in the episode titled Miracle Queen. Yeah, Bark actually appeared briefly with, alongside the other Kwamis, well, most of the other Kwamis, <laughs> that, yeah, Chloe w was trying to unify the other Miraculouses together, <laughs> probably to defeat Ladybug and Cat Noir, probably. <laughs> but... Due to Chloe not knowing the Kwame's names or giving the right commands, <laughs> that attempt failed. <laughs> and <laughs> near the end of the episode, well, the same episode, <laughs> Master Fu or Wang Fu, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he actually renounced his title of Guardian of the Miracle Box. Yeah, and his memory of the Miraculous Box, the Miraculouses, the Kwamis, and pretty much anything that has to do with the Miraculouses got <laughs> erased. And the new Guardian is Marinette Dupan Ching. In the Season 3 episode titled Kwame Buster, <laughs> Marinette actually, for the first time, <laughs> were <laughs> put on all the other Miraculouses but not to use them, but to release the Kwamis for her plan to defeat Kwame Buster. The only other Miraculous, well, the only Miraculous that she did use was the Mouse Miraculous. And why she did that is Kwame Buster actually recently, well, yeah, recently captured Tiki and Plague. <laughs> so basically, yeah, <laughs> Marinette actually used the, yeah, Mouse Miraculous and help, the help from the other Kwamis to, <laughs> to get Tiki, 
to get Tiki back and reunite Plague with Adrian. <laughs> yep, and defeat Kwame Buster. All right, so <laughs> moving on to season four <laughs> with Marinette being the new guardian of the miraculous box. <laughs> Bark alongside the other <laughs> Kwamis, well, most of them, with Nuru and Jusu being captured by Gabriel. <laughs> yeah, and <laughs> yeah, Marinette actually allowed the Kwamis to roam freely around her bedroom as they please. <laughs> and in the episode, in the season four episode, <laughs> Furious Foo, <Fu, laughs> Bark like. <laughs> It's revealed that Bark likes TV, and, <laughs> yeah, and she had a funny, well, a bad feeling about most of the Kuamis going with Marinette to see the now memory erased Master Fu, <laughs> yeah, and Bark staying behind, and when Marinette and the Kuamis got back, well, and the other Kuamis got back, yeah, Marinette got face to face. Came face to face with Su Han, another guardian. <laughs> yep. But by the end of the episode, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Su Han actually allowed Marinette to remain the guardian. And, oh boy, in the season four finale, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that finale was intense. <laughs> yeah. And, so basically, <laughs> Ladybug, with a few extra powers, being the horse and the rabbit miraculouses, be becoming Pennybug, <laughs> mistook a com a disguised Felix for Adrian <laughs> to wield the dog miraculous to defeat the supervillain Risk. And, <laughs> while Felix was the... <laughs> yeah, was powered up with the dog miraculous... <laughs> He actually touched Ladybug's yo-yo with the with the ball of the dog. <laughs> well, the ball of the miraculous of the dog. <laughs> and as Marinette slash Ladybug <laughs> least expected it, yeah. <laughs> Felix, now flare minable, <laughs> yeah, activated the power of fetch. And the ball actually swiped Ladybug's yo-yo. Without Marinette least expecting it and giving Gabriel the, well, access to the miraculous box. And he probably, yeah, Gabriel basically stole all the miraculouses in the box and he got his wedding ring back from Felix. And he gave Felix the peacock miraculous. And so he can use that to later become Argos in season five. And, yeah, when Felix was done being Flare Mittable, he detransformed back into Felix, and then renounced re Bark and gave Gabriel the Dog Miraculous as well. Oh, boy. <laughs> yeah, that finale was a doozy. All right, moving on to Season 5. <laughs> now that Gabriel has all the Miraculous... <laughs> well, nearly all of the miraculous is in the box. <laughs> yeah, Mo Gabriel became monarch, and uh, yeah, <laughs> he actually used fetch um to recall the <laughs> rabbit miraculous when yeah when the heroes were trying to <laughs> trying to steal it from him. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, he actually touched the rabbit miraculous with the with the ball of the dog. <laughs> yeah, and yeah, that happened in I believe evolution, I believe. <laughs> yeah, the first ever episode in season 5. And <laughs> yeah, and when Cat Noir actually, well, this does not relate to the dog miraculous, but <laughs> or bark yeah, this is not related to either the Dog Miraculous or Bark, but Cat Noir actually used the <laughs> Rabbit Miraculous and unified it with the Cat Miraculous, <laughs> becoming Bunny Noir, I believe. <laughs> yeah, and he actually, he and Ladybug actually, <laughs> Rabbit Noir, yeah. <laughs> Alright, anyway, 
he and Ladybug actually traveled into the past to find a younger version of Master Fu and got a new, <laughs> well, not a new version of the Dog Miraculous, but another version of the Dog Miraculous that, um, yeah, <laughs> existed in another timeline. And <laughs> when they got back, Ladybug actually gave the, that Dog Miraculous to Fe not not Felix, but, um, <laughs> Alex Goodell <laughs> becoming canine girl <laughs> yeah and when the <laughs> yeah canine girl actually used fetch herself to touch the rabbit miraculous and when she used the power she recalled the rabbit miraculous to her and <laughs> Alex actually unified both the dog and the rabbit miraculouses to become dog Rabbit or something? <laughs> Rabbit dog? I don't know. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> when that ordeal was done. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Both versions of Alex Kudel got their respective Rabbit Miraculouses back. And Rabbit Noir and Ladybug actually. Yep. <laughs> gave the. I think Bunny Dog was the unified. <laughs> Identity of Alex Goodell with the both the rabbit and dog miraculouses get miraculouses together, and yep, <laughs> Bunny Dog actually gave the younger Master Food the dog miraculous back. <laughs> yep, and <laughs> at the end of the season five finale, <laughs> recreation was the title of the episode. <laughs> Sabrina actually <laughs> when. Oh yeah, I forgot <laughs> to to say when after <laughs> yeah, after the events of destruction, the episode destruction, Gabriel Agress actually morphed the miraculouses into 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 rings and well, aligns rings and with his new monarch powers, <laughs> he was able to absorb the Guami into the ring. And, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and transfer the miraculous power to the Kumatai's villain. And in the episode Adoration, <laughs> he did that exact same thing by absorbing Bark and transferring it to a an Akumatai Sabrina, now Vanisher. Yep, and, <laughs> yeah, at the very end of Season 5, in the finale, <laughs> when... Gabriel actually made his wish and then died. <laughs> Marinette actually brought the Miraculouses to the back to their original forms. And Sabrina Rinkumpree. Rinkumpree? Yeah. <laughs> Sabrina Rinkumpree actually became the permanent holder of the Dog Miraculous. And when Sabrina transforms with the Dog Miraculous, she becomes the superheroine Miss Hound. And... Miss Hound was first introduced in season four in the season four episode Penalty. Yep. Due to Marinette um <laughs> bringing the other miraculouses that <laughs> Monarch has transformed into rings back to their original form. <laughs> yeah. Like I said before, <laughs> Sabrina got the dog miraculous permanently and she is now free to transform into Miss Hound. And she is a member of Ladybug's new restored, now restored, superhero team. Okay, time for the rating. I rate this Miraculous Ladybug Bark Plush as 10 out of 10. I recommend a by Game This Stuffed Animal if they like Miraculous Tales of Ladybug and Cat Noir, Bark, The Dog Miraculous, <laughs> Sabrina, <laughs> the character of Sabrina Recompre, and... <laughs> Stumpy Cat. I hope you enjoyed that video. Please click the like button down below and to subscribe. Click on the picture of Loose No Setta to subscribe to this channel. Oh, one more thing. Stay loving, miraculous Ladybug and Bark. See you later. Bye.